don't care term on uh, kind of map. So what is uh, don't care term? Okay, there are some logic circuits. Okay, means that the applications okay, that uh, may be designed. So there are uh, certain com uh, input condition which uh, there are no specific output levels. Okay, why? Because uh, this input will never occur. Okay, meaning that when we derive the truth table okay, based on the given questions, so there are some combination of inputs doesn't have any output. Okay, because the input is not occur. Okay, so that's why for this uh, combination of inputs, we don't care the output value. Okay, so that's why uh, the value for the output is actually uh, something that uh, we need to uh, fill in the value okay, uh, other than 0 or 1. Okay, because if your output value is equal to 0 or 1, so that is actually uh, representing something. Okay, maybe for example, if your output is equal to 1 for a green light, so means that the output uh, will switch on for the green light. And then if the green light is equal to 0, means that the, out, uh, the green light is switch off. Okay. But for this of don't care, we cannot put the value of 1 and 0. Okay. So we need to put something else. Okay. Because the combination of uh, inputs that represent uh, those output was never occur. Okay, so that's why we call don't care. We don't care the output for that inputs. Okay, because the input was not there. Okay, will never occur. So I give you the example. So this example. Okay, let us consider a logic circuit that will detect odd number. Okay, from BCD code. So if you rem remember in chapter 1, BCD code is actually referring to numbers start with number 0 to 9. So you only have 10 values for BCD codes. Okay, but when we uh, start with our first step, okay, which is the truth table, okay, we need uh, to use four variable uh, truth table. Okay, why four variable truth table? Okay, because the, the largest value for BCD code is 9. Okay, 9. So you need to think how many bits that can represent 9. Binary. Okay, in binary. So how many binary bits that can represent 9? So 9 in binary is okay, 1, 0, 0, 1. So meaning that you need to have 4 variables. Okay. And then if you have 4 variables, your truth table must have 16 combinations. Okay, 16 combinations. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, so you decided to, to have four variables. Okay, meaning that you need to list down all the combinations. Okay, you need to list down all the combinations. Okay, but when we list down all these combinations, okay, there are numbers that are not used by the code. Okay, because BCD code only start from 0 through 9. Okay, there are six numbers not used. Okay, start with number 10 until 15. Okay, so all these values is actually because we can consider as don't care. Okay, because the input combination was never occur. So we don't care what happened to the output. Okay, so we have the logic level. Okay, for input, uh, we will detect odd number and also the even number. And of course, the number that uh, not been used. So this is the odd number, and then this is the even number, and then this is not used number. So what about the output? So we assume that the output is actually the LED, okay, uh, the lamp. Yeah. So what happened when the system detect odd number? Okay, so the lamp or the LED will switch on, okay, light on. So that's why we represent by one, and then for the even number. 
so it will representing by zero but what uh, the value what is the value that we need to put to represent the not use number yeah so in this case we cannot use one and zero so if the value is don't care value so you need to use x okay you need to use x okay so referring to this table first step you need to list down all the combination for your input okay and then okay, you need to put the value of your output because the system is uh, detecting the odd number so that's why when uh, the system detect odd number so y value is equal to one every time it's detect odd so y equal to one okay and then when it comes with the number start from 10 to 15 okay because this six number uh, is actually not uh, included in bcd code so this input we consider as uh, the input that never occur in bcd code so we don't care the output okay? so what uh, what is the value that we need to put for the don't care term so the value that we need to put for don't care term is x uh, so we have six don't care term which is labeled as x okay uh, so this is the uh, first step okay you derive the truth table okay? so that is the uh, meaning of the don't care term on the k okay, map when the input combination uh, was never occur uh, so when the input uh, never occur so we don't care the output yeah, so we put the value of x so next we uh, simplify okay, the truth table okay, so I show you here okay, we simplify the truth table so because the variable is 4 so you need to draw the Four variable k map. Okay, four variable k map. Okay. So now we map the value. Okay, we map the value, right? Yeah, I change the color then. Right, so we, we need to map the value of one, of course, the the compulsory value that you need to map uh, on your KMAP is one. Zero, you don't have to map the value of zero. Yeah, so you map the value of one. For example, for the first value, uh, is this uh, value. So the cell is zero, 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 one, or A bar, B bar, C bar, and D. Okay, A bar, B bar, C bar. And D is so here. Okay. And then second is A bar, B bar, C, D. Okay. A bar, B bar, C, D. Okay. The third one, A bar, and B and C bar, and D. Okay. A bar and B, okay. and C bar, and D. So here. Okay. And then uh, next is A bar, and B and C and D. Okay, A bar and B and C and D. So here. Okay, and uh, the last one for uh, 1 is A, B bar, C bar, D. Okay, A, B bar, C bar, D. So here. Okay. Right. So another value that you need to map on your K-map is actually don't care term. Okay. Don't care. You need to put uh, on your k map okay on your k map okay so we have uh, six value here okay so this is a value for x okay and this is the position of x okay so done with the mapping Okay, done with the mapping. So why we need to put uh, X on your K map? Okay, because um, X okay, on your K map is actually can be looked together with value 1. Okay, previously, K 
okay before we learn about the care don't care so you just concern about one okay you just look the value of one but now when you have x so actually you can map together x with one okay because x on your k map uh, meaning that the x value can carry value zero or one okay x is actually can representing zero or one okay x say only two value either zero or one okay so you you can uh, look together okay your one your value of one okay with value of x to to create a, a bigger size of loop okay as long as the x is actually the adjacent cell with one okay for example in this case so you have one two three four value of one okay and then the next cell you have x x then the next cell you have one x so actually you can loop all eight cell as one loop okay as one loop okay because all eight cell is actually adjacent okay the x is actually adjacent with the value of one so you can take x when the x value is adjacent with the uh, value of one okay that you want to loop together okay so in this case you can look this as one loop okay as one loop okay so done okay done for looping the value of one and also x okay what about the the other x okay the other x that outside of the loop you just ignore okay so in this case that we only can take the x when we want to make our loop bigger okay so uh, this x is actually uh, just the balance of x so we doesn't have to uh, to look that one because uh, when i said x is actually representing zero or one so whenever x inside the loop so this x is actually uh, representing one okay when the x is outside of the loop okay like this three x so this 3x is actually representing value 0. So the rules for KMAP, you don't have to look 0, right? Uh, so that's why we just ignore the 3x. Okay, we just take this 3x that inside the loop. Okay, to make sure that we can form the bigger size of your loop. Uh, so what about the uh, simplified uh, equation? So actually the same value. Eh? You just find what is the value here okay what is your simplified simplified term here so this loop here yeah, will represent d Oops, sorry okay just d okay not d bar okay so this loop okay will represent d okay represent d okay. so this is how uh, okay we Look, okay, the don't care term on KMAP. Okay, you can uh, look together, okay, your X, okay, with one. So the explanation is actually, uh, yeah, this, the next slide. Okay, so this one. Uh, so X on KMAP means the cell can be either one or zero. Uh, so cell containing one can be grouped together with cell containing X to form a bigger loop. To form a bigger Loop. Uh, so that's why we can form this one loop bigger size which is contain eight value okay eight cell okay. and then the lastly the simplified expression is equal to d so your your simplified is actually y equal to d so this is one example that involve the don't care term okay on okay next